Hi, my name's Tim, and uh, I'm a U.S. Air Force uh, veteran. I served uh, from active duty from 1977 to 81, and I was in the res active reserves for three years right after that. I didn't think I had a real bad problem until uh, I was about to retire, and it seemed like I, my drinking had increased. So it went from something I liked to do to something I had to do. Uh, my mother came over uh, unannounced, and my wife and her decided I needed to get some help. And at that point, I knew I needed it, and I went into rehab for the first time. It was a struggle. And then when I hit that final DUI, I woke up in jail. It was a blackout, and I just felt so bad I didn't want to live anymore. And at that point, I just said, God, either let me get this or I don't want to be around. And I think that's what it took for me, you know, to break that ego, to thinking I have to fix this. And all along, I, I've heard it, I heard it, but it didn't, didn't take it to mean I can't do this alone. And I had to get help. You're just, you stop fighting everything, even alcohol or drugs or whatever the problem is. And you work with others and learn how they did it. So I had to go back and look at my past I had to write that all down, and I found out a lot of stuff about myself, and then I had to tell somebody about it. I just look back and I'm amazed at what sobriety can do, and people don't judge you like you think they would judge you. And here I am with two DUIs, less than five years sober, and I get a job working for a court. What we do is a veteran gets in some kind of trouble with the law. He's identified as a veteran, and if he fits the criteria, and we do a intake on them. Uh, we ask them if you'd be willing to go into veterans court and get help. And there is funding to help them with some of their testing, with some of their counseling and, and those type of things. I can glad, gladly say now that all six of my grandchildren have never seen their grandfather drunk. And instead of you can't be around them, it's can you babysit or can you take them or can you come to this party? I just watched my uh, grandson in a play at elementary school, and uh, it's very special. Excuse me. <laughs> when the military takes us into basic, they tear us down and build us up the way they want us, and that, a lot of that's fearless, and uh, you know, failure is not an option. This isn't failure. Failure is not getting the help. If you, it takes more. Uh, guts to reach out and ask for the help and follow through with it.